This video is all about fractions. So we're gonna look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Okay, so we'll start with adding. So two thirds plus one fifth. Okay, so we need to find here is what's known as the common denominator, which means that this number and this number need to be the same so that we can add them, right? Different rules when we're multiplying, but in this case, we have to have the same, right? And so what we would find there is a number that can be the same for both of them. If you don't know, you can just multiply these two together, right? And that, so three times five is 15. Okay, so the way we do that is we go two thirds times five over five equals 10 over 15, right? Those two thirds and 10 over 15 mean the same thing. All right, and then one fifth times three over three equals three over 15. Okay, so now we've got what's the, the, called the denominator. This is called the denominator, right? The same, or we call it common denominator. And then you can add those up. Right? We get 13 fifteenths. Okay, so that's all we do. Find the common denominator and get the get it so that the denominator is the same for both those two fractions. Definitely got to know how to do this. Um, okay, so let's look at another one. Three fifths plus one sixth. Okay, same thing, right? Denominators are different can't add them like this, can't add them in this format. So again, let's just go ahead and multiply five and six together, right? So denominator will be 30, right? So three fifths times six over six equals 18 over 30 and one sixth times five over five. 5 over 30, right? And putting them together, 18 over 30 plus 5 over 30 equals 23 over 30, right? Remember, when that denominator is the same, it's going to stay the same here. We don't add 30 and 30 together to get 60. That stays the same, but we do add these two numbers on the top, and that's how we do that. Okay, so hopefully... That starts to clarify how we add fractions. Got to have that number on the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, the same. Okay, subtracting. All right, so we have two thirds minus one fifth. Okay, same thing, right? So we just did two thirds plus one fifth, right? And if you remember, we went. Same thing though, you can't subtract these when that denominator is different, right? So it's the same thing, two thirds times five over five equals 10 over 15. Remember doing this just a second ago, right? One fifth times three over three equals three over 15, yeah? Okay, and now, so on the last one, we added them and it became 13 fifteenths. In this case, we'll subtract them 10 over 15 minus 3 over 15 equals 7. 7 over 15, right? So that's how you do it. Adding and subtracting, really the same setup. Got to get that denominator the same. Uh, and once you do that, you just use add the, put the numerator, which is that top number, or in this case, subtract. Okay. Multiply, multiply is probably the easiest one, um, right? So let's look at that, so what if it was, I guess we're sticking with two thirds and one fifth, two thirds times one fifth. So in this case, you can just multiply right across, right? Two times one is two, three times five, 15. There we go, two out of 15. And then dividing. Guess what? The same number, two thirds divided by one fifth. 
Okay, so this is the one where you have to flip, right? So when you look at two thirds divided by one fifth, that equals two thirds times five over one, right? So what we did is we flipped one fifth. So now the, down here, the five, that was the denominator, now the numerator, and the one that was in the numerator is now the denominator, right? And so that equals 10 thirds. Okay. Um, all right, one more. One more. I'll make it a little bit harder. Hopefully you guys are following this pretty good. Um, okay, so what if it was, what if they added one more thing to it? Okay, so if it's two thirds plus one fifth minus one half. Okay, so if you can remember from the first one, two thirds plus one fifth, one fifth ended up being 13 fifteenths, right? We found the common denominator and two thirds equaled 10 fifteenths, one fifth equaled three fifteenths. We added them together, get 13 fifteenths, okay? We won't go through that again, so just doing the same thing. So 13 fifteenths minus one half. Okay, so what do you think we need to do here? All right, so again, common denominator, right? Um, uh, 15 and two, right? So if we multiply 15 by two, that gives us 30. So 13 over 15 times two over two equals 26 over 30. And one and a half times 15 over 15 gives us 15 over 30. Run it out of room a little bit, so I'll just word the last part here. All right, so if we have 26 over 30 minus 15 over 30, uh, that 30 will stay the same. And 26 minus 15 is 11. So we'll end up with 11 over 30 for our final answer.